In Studio One Pro 7.2, we introduce our latest virtual instrument that is all about low-end bass. We call it Sub-Zero Bass. Sub-Zero Bass sounds raw, intense, deep, dynamic, but it's mostly focused and specialized on cinematic and electronic music styles. The installation process of Sub-Zero Bass in Studio One Pro 7.2 is very straightforward. All you need to do here inside of Studio One Pro is go to the menu at the top where it says Studio One and then click on Studio One Installation. And then you want to search for Sub-Zero Bass right here under the Available Downloads tab. Now in my case it doesn't show up because I already installed it, so for me it would be Install Content, but you would basically just have to click the tick box in Available Downloads for Sub-Zero Bass and then download this 5 gigabyte Bass Monster Beast. Once you're ready, you click here onto the browser, you go to the Instruments tab and you will find your brand new virtual instrument in Studio One Pro 7.2 here under Personas. There it is. And of course, in classic Studio One Pro fashion, it can be added to any track, just like so. Now, you might be familiar already with the Lead Architect and Cinematic Lights virtual instruments that were introduced in Studio One Pro recently. And in Sub-Zero Bass, you find a very similar architecture. You can see I have these three layers that I can work with, okay? So right here, that would be like a sub-layer. Over here, it's like a mid-range layer. And over here is another mid-range layer. And those are panned hard left and hard right to give a little bit of width to the space, but the fundament is full mono in the center. And now I can blend between the layers to find exactly what I like. Probably somewhere around here is cool, so let's see if I can play something interesting with that. Now I'm happy to say that I've also had a bit of a hand at crafting some of the presets inside of Sub-Zero Bass. I really hope you enjoy them. For example, FM a la GBY. Um, let's see what this sounds like, especially with a compressor that's doing a bit of side chaining on the kick drum. Of course, all of these parameters can be automated. Hopefully you can hear my signature in that if you've checked out some of my other demos before here in my playlist. Um, this is another of my presets. Sub-Zero Bass is a true champion at any kind of bass tone. It doesn't have to be sharp attack basses or sidechain basses. It can also be low drones like this one. <laughs> let's uh, check another preset. This would be Continental Crust. So let's see what that can do. So we have all kinds of bases in here, attack bases, surely side chainable bases, absolutely, but also rumbling cinematic bases like this one. I also want to mention how much you can tweak these individual presets. They're really just a starting point, if you will. So either you can change the individual sounds of the layers by clicking on these drop down arrows here, or you can just click on the layers themselves and then tweak any of the parameters that you see here. You have multiple envelopes available. You have a very powerful equalizer. Don't sleep on this equalizer that you can toggle between lead and bass mode, depending on what kind of layer you're working on. You also have a gator that's available per layer. 
and you have up to 16 slots of modulation. And like I said, you can just very quickly switch the samples of each of the used presets. So this is really an amazingly diverse sound design tool. So there you have it. That's a sneak peek into the now available Sub-Zero bass inside of Studio One Pro 7.2. You can see how it really caters to any kind of bass sound palette, both organic and synthetic. Check it out right now. And thank you for watching.